What's going on, guys? Let me fix this dang camera real quick. Uh, well, welcome back. Especially if you are coming back for Confessions of a Single Father, episode two. Um, as you can tell, I'm inside my truck again, and which means I'm more likely at work, making sure nothing happens to the people that are around me. Um. What I really wanted to talk today was, and to the people out there, just about like, uh, I've been seeing a lot on social media lately about like, uh, treat your woman right. Don't, um, guys, you're not supposed to do this, guys, you're not supposed to do that. And it's true. You know, treat your woman right. But it goes vice versa for women as well. Hope I used that right. Um, in today's society, a lot is forgotten about how things maybe should be. Um, there's a study in in my um, a sociology class, and this is true, where young ladies are starting to act like young boys. In other words, there's a revolt, re a reverse going on right now in the whole. Uh, domination of the sexes thing to where males used to be very dominant within like the sexuality and the whole like um, what I say goes so it's what's basically happening now is the females are starting to come up and I've, I've said this for a while you know and um, the females are starting to get a lot stronger in there and they are they have been for a very long time but nobody's ever taken a chance of noticing them and this is where a lot of times where relationships really do mess up because you see females aren't just staying at home anymore they're going out they're earning that bacon and a majority of the time they're even hungrier than the men where they're not bringing home just the bacon they're bringing home a slab of bacon and guys are getting pissed you guys are getting pissed you, you know who you are poke in the damn face um so marriages seem to crumble a bit you know uh, I know there's a lot of guys out there who still want their women just to be subservient and, you know, stay home. Uh, come on. Unless you're a millionaire and you're working at a 500 fortune club or you're just well off in the middle class range, that's not going to happen. When you're in a certain bracket, two people should be working, not just one. Especially when the kids are older enough, older, when they're old enough, it should be two of y'all working. Um, one of the things y'all need to realize during the part of any type of uh, relationship, one of the most important keys is communication. Because see, what y'all seem to forget is this, what anybody seems to forget is this. How do you become friends? How do you, the first thing you do when you first meet somebody, I'll give you a second. You talk to them. You talk to them. I know there's a lot of you who met your significant other out there in the bar, and y'all have been going through a lot. What was the first thing y'all did? You talked. Communication. That's how you first got to know her. That's how she first got to know you. And that's the whole key. If you forgot how to communicate, I suggest that you sit down and you don't get off at that table until you learn how to communicate. Even if it takes a six pack, a 12 pack, a bottle of wine or two, communicate. And it's not always about sex. It's not always about, uh, he's the best lover I ever had. He can be the best lover. She can be the best lover you ever had. The thing is this, without communication, it's just sex. You have to have something deeper. Now you can have fun. I'm not saying you, you can't go out there. You can't have fun. You can't do you. Because you can't. Now, I guess you're wondering where it's like a... So, it's called Confessions of a Single Father. And you're just telling us what to do or giving us advice. Here's one part. From the very first time I met my son's mom, 
she thought I was a virgin. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't think it was going to last, but I fell in love with her. We had good communication. And the story from there. Throughout the years, I had my fun too. I was young. Like I said, I'm 41. I was, I was young too once. Um, but the most thing is, even at that, it was always communication, communication, communication. I guess that's the whole thing today that I'm talking to you guys about is just communication. Nothing more. Um, I will confess this. Today is... What is today? Tuesday. I recorded my first video on Monday. I'm not releasing this video here for a couple more days. Seeing another confession. Mm. But if, if there's anything y'all want to know, if you want me to talk about, you have an idea, a little story, just put it on the YouTube channel in the comments on the bottom. Or you can email me at Jesus. Mirela76 at gmail.com Don't uh, hit me up on Facebook on the bottom. Don't DM me on Facebook, please. Uh, you can use my email or you can use the comments on the YouTube the YouTube channel on the bottom. But uh, getting back before I run out of time here. Um, one of the things I've always used, especially with my own son, is communication. Anytime, now that you know, he's 20 now. But anytime we had issues, it was always communication. Yes, I did raise my voice a bit. And yes, I did lose a little bit of temper. But I never lost communication. And he may be coming his own young man right now, but we still communicate. That's the whole key. Whether it be boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, and wife, or father and son. Communication is the key to everything. So... I guess until the next time, we'll see y'all later, and just remember, good communication. This has been episode two of Confessions of a Single Father.